Johnny. Well, uh, coaches, we done reached the point in the show that I know the audience is out there going, we got to talk about it. got to talk about it. Yeah, we got beat. <laughs> got to talk about it. We got beat. We got, got beat. beat. We got beat by a good football team, but, you know, it's disappointing because we had it. I felt like we had it. And then we, like and we, then, and then we, we lost it on lost defense. It. We gave it away. Yeah, well, you know, coach, well, I can't uh, say that now. Well, no, we know, lost I it on hear, defense. I hear you as the defensive coach. We, we lost it on defense. We though. lost we had, it more had ways it. than one. I think the frustrating part for me watching it is that with all the mistakes we made, all the opportunities we squandered, with three minutes left, we were winning the game. Right. right. Well, what's frustrating, too, from an offensive standpoint, is I feel like the second half they couldn't stop us. Once we got going, and I'm like – we needed that the first half. If we'd have mm-hmm. come out in the first half like that and played, the game been over, been you over. know. And, uh, you know, people talk about, well, you know, we lost Travis, we lost Jimmy, and, you know, Amari Miller stepped up till he got, got hurt and everything. Yeah. But, but you know yeah. what, that's, that's people, that's, that's football. football. That's you football. got injuries. You got to step up. People got the next man up, and that's yeah. what's got to happen. And, you know, it was a tough loss um, uh, to a very, very good opponent. You know, we knew Kansas State was going to be a good team. And, uh we just, it is disappointing, but, uh, you know, we're going to bounce back. We're going to bounce now, back. We right will. about here. We will. Like right here, here. I'm going to drop me in Coach Hart doing the team breakdown before practice. And I ain't going to beat go. nothing. There you go. Y'all need to hear the passion of this man. <laughs> See, he was fired up. Y'all, he got, he me, got, up. got me going. <laughs> let's go. Let's go. Jog in. Jog in. Let's go. Let's go. Get your ass in here, man. Come in here. Get closer. Get closer. I ain't trying to fuck your screen. Get closer. Whoa. Get closer. Understand, dog. Tomorrow is not promised. You don't have fucking tomorrow. All you got is today. And we got to take everything we want. I couldn't go for fucking sleep because I was disappointed in myself. And it felt like a slap in the face that we didn't show up in the linebacker unit. But then I smiled to myself because I guess what? The only thing fucking matter is how I feel and how y'all feel about me. Because we in this goddamn hole together. No matter what they say on social media, whatever your parents say, any of that shit, we got to take it every day, and it starts today. You just took a breath. That's the last fucking breath you took today. It should have been the best one you had. When we get out here today, run to the ball, echo, play as a team, give it everything you got, and let's take a fucking win because we deserve it. We take it. We ain't giving shit. You understand that? Earn it today. Let's get a break right here. Buffs on three, buffs on me. One, two, three, buffs. Oh. Here we go, here we go. He got, got me going. Yeah. He had me going What's over there. What through your mind when, when you broke the huddle the other, other morning? I guess, I, I, like I said, I, I really couldn't sleep. I really couldn't sleep because I felt like, you know, we had that game and we were, we were so close yeah. to closing it out and, and going on a run that I think we needed to have. Right to keep the confidence, confidence and energy. So, you know, you sit back and you reflect, and as, as a coach, you start looking at those opportunities you had and the things that happened and stuff like that. And then you think about the players um, and their young men and this day and age with social media and everything like that. And so much is given That's right. to these, these kids these days, right. women, and, women and men. There's so much is given to them. And I just wanted them to understand it. Yo, you know, listen, we, we ain't done. That's right. We can go 10 and 2. That's right. You know, that is very possible, but you got to take it. That's right. All you, of our it, goals are there, but you're right. You can't, you, it ain't going to be given to you. It ain't going to be given you to you. You got to go out These are good it. teams out here. That's right. They trying to do the same thing and play. And I wanted to give them to the understand that, listen, it is us in this foxhole. We love you, Buff Nation. We do. Mom and Dad, we love you. I know what I said, and I meant right. what I said, though. At the end of the day, we ain't that foxhole. That's right. Mm-hmm. And, and, and if we want anything, we got to come up out of there and charge the ground That's and right. take the ground. We have to take it. We have to earn it. And it starts with how you, you know, you practice. Exactly. Man. It starts with how you practice. You know what I'm saying? I was yeah. fired up and I was, I was upset. And, yeah. And, and I can't wait to play another game because it's Lord, still I'm so there. glad we didn't have an open week this week. Yeah, yeah. No, we well, didn't I didn't want to open week this week, week, man. I want to get that. I'm, I'm ready to get back out there and get going. Yeah. But I believe in our kids. Yes. I believe in Buff Nation. I believe in the coaches. I believe in the staff. You know, I, I, I love our fans. I love yes. our fans. Absolutely. But, what an atmosphere. Yeah, it was. Oh, it, dude, was, dude, it was to play unbelievable, in those. Unbelievable, man. Like when I'm on my sick bed, my just uh, laying there, and my mind starts to wonder and goes through the times, right. man. These are some of the greatest times I'm going to remember. That's right. And experience being in, you know, Boulder, Colorado yes. at Folsom Field. Man, I'm going to tell you what, and, I, and, and you know, obviously we disappointed for ourselves, but when you see our fans and how our student body just stays engaged through the whole game and, 
and everything. It, it disappoints me for them too because I know they're yeah, behind us. Yeah, they're with us, yeah, man. And, yeah, we, wanna, yeah, and I, I know they want to. They you know they've suffered yeah. around here for a few years and and they're getting some attention and 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 they they like they they behind us 100 percent and and you know we I, so I was I was disappointed for them as well you know and and I know that's not why we do it but I get that but we I've still felt bad for them too. Yeah. Absolutely. Let me, let me throw this at you from. Uh, well, let me let me go two players and I'm gonna hit y'all with a question that Coach Prime put before the group on the team meeting uh, early today. Some lessons I think people saw around the world that you just cannot calculate the importance of having Travis on it, whether that's on offense or defense. Correct. I think another thing that people learned, if they didn't already learn it, when you have a quarterback like Shador Sanders, you got right. something special because you always have a chance as he's out there because right. he was clicking. Having said that, coach, head coach, Coach Prime, challenged us this morning, offense and defense. He said, look, come down to two things. On defense, if we stop the run, and on offense, if we protect the quarterback, we're going to win. All right. this other stuff was in fine, damn important, but it's right. really just those two things. Right. So offensively and defensively, talk about that. Stopping the run, protecting the QB. Go ahead, Coach. You go first. Well, I think, you know, Coach Prime said it best, but there's another gentleman named Vince Lombardi who said it a long time ago in his book that I've read, uh, football comes down to two things, blocking and tackling. Mm -hmm. Correct. At the end of the day, that's what football is. I mean, there's a lot of schemes, there's a lot of all this, and you know, you can do, you know, put makeup on a pig, all that's that kind right. of stuff, what you want to say. But it comes down to fundamentals of blocking and tackling. And speaking defensively, we did not do a good job of tackling. Uh, and, and you know, yeah. I mean, that hurts you. Well, that hurts you. well, basically, what Prime said was blocking and tackling. Because yes. if you protect Shadur, you're blocking. Mm -hmm. And if you start to run, you're tackling. You're tackling. You know. And, but but you know what? The thing about it is, is like I know people are going to hear the the, the, the quote, and, they'll, and I'm sure it'll get twisted and everything because people love to do that. But in order to protect Shadur, there's there's there's, there's things you got to do. First of all, you you know, obviously, when we call it pass play, we got to protect him. But part of protecting him is being able to run the football. Sure. You know, because when you run the football, that keeps the defense off balance. They're not able to just pin their ears back and, and, and get go after the quarterback. And they got that, that kind of limits their playbook a little bit in terms of stunts and blitzes that they can use, packages, things they can do. So we got to be more efficient running the football. But that's that, that all that carries goes into account. And, and but coach is right. If you stop the run, now I, I do want to say this too, because I don't know if people understand this. Um, defensively. Our, our defense has faced UCF, who's number four in the country in rushing offense, Kansas State, who's number eight in the country in rushing offense, uh, North Dakota State, who's number 14 in the country in the FCS in rushing offense, and I think Colorado State is like number 51. Mm -hmm. So we have faced some really good rushing teams, and I thought we have done think we have done a good job, you know, to uh, considering. That uh, of stopping the run, you know. Now I know, I know we were disappointed in, with Kansas State, but you know, like I say, we were disappointed with how we protect protect this Shador against Kansas State. So we got to be able to run the football too to help protect Shador. But you're right. If, if if number two can stand up all night long and not have to to take any hits and or limit the number of hits he takes, he's tough to stop, man. I'm gonna yeah. tell you right now. I, I he is tough to stop. Yeah, no doubt. No so, doubt. No yeah. doubt. No doubt. But anyway, man, hey, coach, talk to me. We got Arizona coming up, going to Tucson, Arizona. I hear Tucson. the weather's going to be perfect. I hear it's in the 90s uh, most of the week, and it's going to be around 70. Can't come game really? time. Yeah. Gonna There's be around a 70 nationwide coming. cold front coming yes. through that includes Arizona. Arizona. So is the temperature going to drop? We're going to be in the it's desert. It's going to feel like here. Yeah, we're going to be in the really? desert, 70 degrees, oh, man. coming off the mountain, baby. I just knew I was going to have like three or four shirts to change into. Oh, no, man. It's going to be nice. It's going to be nice, I, I gonna gonna be nice man, in Arizona. I'm looking forward to losing some weight out there, man. <laughs> I tell you what, I'm looking forward to yeah. Okay. Yeah, um, yeah, man. Looking Arizona, forward to something, all right. Arizona, <laughs> Arizona another good team. Yes. Uh, they play very, very hard, and they've had some very close games that could have went the other way, and they would have won. Um, so, you know, you're looking at a team that's going to battle. They're going to try to finish the game um, and play all – you know, right. 60 minutes of it. So, well, longer than that, I said 60 minutes, but longer than that. But the thing about it is, I think with Arizona, you have to – now, they're different in the fact that they pass the ball right. a lot more. Really good quarterback, they right? Run. He's good. Great he receiver. Good. They got the, like, oh, the number one yes. receiver in the country, right? Oh, yes. This joker is nice. Number four, now. boy. Number he's four. he's a pretty boy. Number he four. is a he pretty sure thing. Is. 
And I think the thing is, man, is, is now, you know, you have to understand how we're working with the back end is working together right. with the coverage, right. what we're trying to do, get accomplished, and then the rush, you know, like, which uh, just came alive for us yes, in the last couple of games. Yes. Uh, and, and get them getting to this quarterback here. Who's they got a the pretty ball. good tight end, too, don't they? They got a really good, tight, a good end, tight end, 88. Yep, 88 yep. He, he's doing a good job, too. So, you know, it's really working together on the back end, making yes. sure we're communicating with the right spots to play the pass. And then also we still have to, you know, delinquish or, or stop the run. Right. We stop the run and just make the quarterback have to throw the ball. The good thing about it with the ball hawks we have back That's there, right. like Travis, That's DJ right. McKinney, you know, uh, Shallow, he's getting his feet back under him. Right. He's a ball hawk as well. Getting those guys with the ball in the air, that's one thing. Once yes. it's in the air, man, it's 50-50. That's right. You know, it don't belong to nobody as it's that's traveling right. through the air exactly. until it comes down, you know. Well, I tell you what, they, they you know, people probably going to look at the BYU score and say, well, BYU beat them bad. But if you watch the game, there was like three turnovers in a row that BYU capitalized off of. And yes. Arizona actually got it down close to BYU to, to a t you know, in the yes. red zone two or three times and come up in. That, that's, that's right. And, they, and, I mean, you know, they – I'm not gonna say it wasn't an upset, but the way Utah was playing at the right. time, they came and beat Utah. Yes. You know, went into a battle with Texas Tech. Yes. You know what I'm saying? Yep. Um, That's right. Barely lost that game. I mean, they 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 play tough, yes, man. Like they it, do. If it, if the wind would have swayed just a little bit over <clears> here, <throat> That's right. You could be talking about a totally different. Totally record. different deal. And, yeah. I, and I tell you what, you know, I know we don't have you know you know in coaching, you try not to think about revenge and all. But I do feel like we let one get away last year with them. You know, I think we kind of owe them, man. Mm -hmm. You know, mm -hmm. uh, we had we lost a heartbreaker to them. It was tied up late, and they kicked mm -hmm. the field goal as time ran out to beat us. Mm -hmm. And you know, and I mean, they were a 10, 11 win team last year. Mm -hmm. You know, and we took them right down to the wire. So uh, I'm excited to get to, to line up against them. You know, defensively, they uh, they have brought back the defensive coordinator that that made the Desert Swarm defense uh, popular back in the '90s. You yes. know, when they had Teddy Bruschi and them guys. That's right. And they really were really good. So he runs a lot of the same stuff they run. Yeah. They ran back then, but you know, very it's similar to our defense. Yes, very similar to our defense. As far as what we run. I mean, it's wise. almost like practicing our, against ourselves yeah. defensively this yeah. year. Yeah. I, I, so, I like to see that. I can't wait know, to see that. We're excited about that. You know, they got. They got two really good defensive linemen that we got to, that we got to deal with, um, number three and number 47. Mm -hmm. uh, 47 transfer from USC, and mm -hmm. then they got a great linebacker. My, probably a first, probably number five might be a um, first team, second team yeah. All Conference player. I know he was in the Pac-12 last year. I think he was second team that's All right, Conference last year. Mm -hmm. You know, and then they got a corner, number one, that's real long, tall. He's got an NFL draft grade. They think he's going to be playing the league. Mm -hmm. But I'm going to tell you now. The weapon they got that nobody's going to talk about until they get to the game is the kicker. Mm. Oh, because he can boot that, that thing, Joker man. can kick. Listen, he hey, the they air. won't. Let me go on. And let y'all know right now. They won't be no kickoff returns for Colorado. It make it the, will be out the back of the end zone. He make the ball fart. Yeah, he does. He hit it so hard, it, yeah. poof, Coach. You can, yeah, you can hear the ball. Like, yeah. like, yeah. listen, Tom Brady would love to throw that ball after he after he I, I, after he kicked it. I'm I promise you. You, you know, talk about deflate gate. Yeah, he deflating it all right. He sure is. They I said before I saw I saw on TV where before the BYU game he was warming up with the snapper and the holder, and they were back there kicking from 65, and it was just hitting right through the middle, and it was hitting about halfway at the net. So I mean, you're talking about 70 yard kickoffs. I mean, uh, extra points. I mean, field goal. Excuse me. They say when he kicks off, it goes to the uprights. He's got a. He's got it. I want to meet his parents. Yeah, DNA mixture. I want to meet his parents. I hope DNA they got another son, and I want him to come to Colorado. You know what I'm saying? That's what I want. Somebody had to be a soccer player or something. Hey, hey. I know this. That foosball joker, player. That joker. No, not foosball. That, that What's joker. the thing you do when you kick the little, little bean sack ball with your foot? Hacky sack. Hacky sack. Hacky -sack. -sack. sack. Yeah, I don't know. If, I think he probably been kicking. Yeah, he probably played some hacky sack. I'm sure he can. He plays hacky sack. Plays some soccer. I'll kick hey, hacky He could probably be a guest on Ted Lasso. You know what I mean? Listen, the boy, hey, I'm telling y'all, folks, get there early, go watch, get the kids impressive. He's impressive now. Yeah. I get, I'm going to get, hey, I, I give Luke, I give his last name Loop. His last name's Loop. I give old uh, Loop some credit. Now, Arizona, they, they, they home colors are white, don't they? They wear the white jerseys at home, I Do believe. Do they wear the white jerseys at I home? I think they wear the white jerseys at home. Oh. Yeah, they're essentially a, a white, red, and blue team, so they're yeah. probably being white. They might be in white, yeah. bro. You, so you know we, what? We I think you are right that they wear yeah. white at home. Yeah. They're going to try to put us in some dark uniforms in that sun. Mm -hmm. Come That's on what now. it is, huh? Come on now. Y'all y'all, y'all trying, trying to be like my Cowboys. Y'all been watching the Art of War. I, was yeah. I mean, reading the Art of hey, War. Hey, all you Cowboys over there, Jerry, 
Quit wearing the blue jerseys, man. We don't ever wear the blue jerseys. Been wearing the goddamn blue jerseys too much. That's enough. I ain't going to talk about it no more. I'm mad. I'm a Cowboy fan, but they ain't know where we is. Ain't, we, it ain't we, what it is. We the worst 3-3 three and three team in the history of the NFL right now. Well, I, I guarantee you this. As a fellow Cowboy fan with the two of y'all, we won't lose this weekend. Who we play this weekend? We open. Got week. Open high. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> we got the open ostriches. <laughs> open ostriches, yeah. 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 We, open ostriches ain't never won a game. <laughs> nah, ain't never won one. Well, yo, listen, we've been, it's been fun. We got to get, we get back to work so we can get to it. That's right. Got to get back, get Arizona. ready for Arizona. Looking forward to all the fans showing up, Coach. That's right. Because I told you, Coach Prime made the promise, we got to get Peggy to a bowl game. Yes. And, and, and we got plenty of games left to do. Yes, it. let's do it. We're going to get it done, Peggy. Miss Peggy, you get ready now. Get ready. Come on. Get your team. We want a Florida Bowl game. Too. Oh, that'd be great. We want a Florida Bowl that'd game. That'd be great, Miss Peggy. Put you right there. You That's right. Draw the water. That's right. Before, you know, we get kickoff and stuff That's like right. that. Stick your toes in the sand for there a little you go. bit. You'd be great. Till next week. Till next week. Peace. Derek, appreciate you, baby. My guy.